Welcome to the NEC SV9300 phone training. In this training, we will discuss the physical features of the phone, go over call handling, which includes placing internal and external calls, putting calls on hold, parking and unparking, transferring, and conferencing. I will show you how to forward calls and adjust and enable personal phone options. We will start with the physical features of the phone. The hold button will let you put internal and external calls on hold. The transfer button allows you to transfer a call to another coworker or an outside line. Press the speaker button for hands-free capability. The button lights up when enabled. The mic light must be lit for two-way conversation. To redial the last person you made a call out to, press the redial button on the navigation key. Scroll back through the numbers that have been dialed. When the desired number is displayed, press the pound key to activate dialing. The directory button will give you a list of employees in your company. The selection key is located in the middle of your navigation key. It is a way to press enter on your phone. At the top of your phone, there is a message indicator light. This light will light up when you are receiving a call. It will also be lit when you have unheard voicemail messages. The LCD screen provides phone activity information plus your name, extension, the date, time, and soft key operation. The soft keys provide you access to telephony functions and features that are displayed within your LCD display screen. These soft keys change based on what functions you are trying to complete. The programmable buttons are used for a variety of telephony features such as lines, speed dials, call appearances, headset, or park. The feature button is used occasionally to access telephony feature setup. The recall button provides fresh dial tone while connected with outside lines. The answer button allows you to answer an external call that's ringing your phone. The first call will be put on hold automatically. To return to the first call, press the flashing line key. This feature is only functional with outside lines. An internal call does not activate the answer key. The mic button allows you to turn on and off your microphone while being hands-free, using a headset or speakerphone. Press the mic button to turn your mic on, the key will light up, and press the button again to turn your mic off. Just remember, if the light is on, your mic is on. If the light is off, your mic is off. The menu button provides access to phone settings, such as call history, directory, call functions, and different settings. The volume button allows you to adjust volume control for your handset, speaker, ringer volume, and brightness of LCD display. To place a call using your handset, pick up your handset and dial the extension. To place an external call, dial the trunk access code 8 or 9 and then the number, or press the programmed button or outside line key. To end a call, hang up the handset. To place a call using your speakerphone, press the speaker button and dial the extension. To place an external call, dial the trunk access code 8 or 9, then the number, or press a program button or an outside line key. To end a call, press the speaker button. While a call is ringing your extension, you'll hear the ringtone and the message indicator light will flash. If the caller ID information is provided, the caller's name and number will appear in the display. To answer a call using your handset, pick up the handset. To answer a call using your speakerphone, press the speaker button. To answer a call using your headset, press the programmed headset button. When additional calls are received, press the hold key to place the current call on hold and connect with the next call. Pressing the answer button places the first party on hold and connects with the second party. Press the answer button again to alternate between the calls. This only works with external calls. To place a call on hold, press the red hold button. You can safely place the handset on hook or press the speaker or headset button without ending the call. To take a call off hold, press the flashing line key. Calls on system hold can be retrieved by any phone with the held line appearance. After a predetermined amount of time, 
the call will recall to the extension that originally placed the call on hold. To redial the last person you made a call out to, press the redial button on the navigation key. Scroll back through the numbers that have been dialed. When the desired number is displayed, press the pound key to activate dialing. Parking Calls allows you to place a call on hold for anyone in your organization to pick up. While connected with a call, press the Programmed Park button. View your LCD display screen for the two-digit park location, 00 through 19. Place the handset on the receiver. The call is placed on a system hold that can be picked up by any user. To retrieve a parked call, press the Programmed Park Retrieve button. Enter the park location, 00 through 19, and you'll be connected with the parked call. To transfer a call from your extension to another number, press the Transfer button. Dial an extension, press the speed dial, or dial the trunk access code, 8 or 9, and then the number. For a consult transfer, wait for an answer, announce the call, and hang up to complete the transfer. For a blind transfer, just hang up to complete the transfer. To transfer to someone else's voicemail, dial the extension followed by 8. To conference a party into a connected call, press the transfer button. Dial an extension, press a speed dial, or dial the trunk access code 8 or 9, and then the number. Press the conference soft key when the party answers. You'll then be connected with all the other parties. If one party hangs up, the others remain connected. To forward calls to another number, pick up your handset or press the speaker button. Press the Forward All Programmed button. Enter the extension and hang up. To forward your calls to an external number, pick up your handset or press the speaker button. Press the programmed Forward All button. Dial the trunk access code 8 or 9 and then the number and then hang up. To forward your calls to voicemail, pick up your handset or press the speaker button. Press the programmed Forward All button. Press the voicemail soft key and hang up. To cancel call forwarding, pick up your handset or press the speaker button. Press the star key. Wait for the set tone and hang up. To adjust the ringer volume, when your phone is ringing, use the up and down buttons on the navigational key to set your desired volume. To change your ringtone, press the feature button, dial 3, and continue to press 3 until you reach your desired ringtone. The last one you listen to will be the ringtone that is set. Congratulations! You have finished the NEC SV9300 phone training. If you have any further questions, please contact your system administrator.